Hey guys, Jules here from Behind the Cork for another What's in Your Glass Weekend Wine. I can't believe that I waited 23 episodes now to talk about my favorite uh, wine. This week we're talking about Chianti Classico Reserva. Uh, the sample I have here I'm excited about because the producer produces some amazing wine. Uh, let's get right into it. So uh, what we're talking about today is the Cerro Lapo. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, just beautiful. I'm gonna turn this so you can see the uh, just amazing wax label. It just looks like a, work, a piece of art. Uh, I love this wine. Uh, the producer, Mate, uh, if anybody doesn't know the producer, just some outstanding wines they produce everywhere from, I think a while back I talked about Sicilian wines that they produce. Uh, just amazing quality. This is one of my favorites uh, from them, the Chianti Classico Reserva. Sangiovese grape, uh, just, you know, again, I can't believe I waited this long to talk about it. However, let's get right into it. Uh, what to expect from the Sangiovese grape. So uh, it, it's primary, it's native to the Tuscan area, the Chianti region in the Tuscan area. Uh, it's pronounced, the, the primary flavors that you're going to expect is high acidity. Uh, and when I talk about acidity is the ability of a wine to to really provide that refreshing feeling you'll feel it in the mouth you'll feel it in the tongue uh, the acidity causes the mouth to water uh, similar as salt would do if you have a little bit of salt uh, your mouth will start watering the acidity has that same effect so a nice wine that has a good balance of acidity uh, will just make the mouth water even after you swallow the wine so uh, Sangiovese is classic now and renowned for higher acidity uh, medium tannins uh, depending, we'll talk about the different versions of the Chianti's, medium tannins, and depending on how long it's been aged, but you should expect a medium mouth feel of, of oak and tannins. Uh, and cherry, just bursting with cherry and raspberry flavor. So that's the classic Sangiovese. Uh, the Sangiovese grape also has a slight uh, spiciness at the end. So you get that tingling, spicy feeling, similar with the uh, Syrah and Shiraz. Uh, Primitivo, Zinfandel, we talked about in my last episode. Uh, it provides a little bit of spiciness that it's just really enjoyable. So think about the cherry, spicy, good acidity, mouth watering. Uh, this is a wine that can typically, again, depending on the version, can be aged for long periods. And there's nothing better than a Sangiovese or a Chianti Classico uh, with a plate of pasta. Uh, the acidity in the tomato sauce pairs extremely well with, with this wine. So that is my recommendation. Uh, but anything that has good acidity, this wine is going to go really, really well. And if you don't, if you're ever in a situation where you don't know what to serve, because, you know, I talked about depending on the meal, depending on the type of cooking, depending on what you're serving your guests, uh, it could be white, red, can really vary across the board. Uh, in the end, when you want to play it safe, go with a Chianti Classico. Uh, it's hard to go wrong. I haven't met anybody that doesn't like Chianti's uh, and really it's just crowd pleaser all along. So let's get right into it. I want to taste this for you guys. So initially the Serlapo, just beautiful oak cherry. You want to get that oxygen in there in the sip and the flavors just explode when you swallow. So again, the acidity, side of the tongue, the oak is coating the mouth. My mouth is continuously watering, even at this stage, still you hear me swallowing. Uh, it's just beautiful cherry flavors. Uh, it's, I've, I've just recently uh, drunk a 2007 version of the Serlapo. It aged so beautifully. Uh, so this wine here, uh, 2017, has at least 10 year aging potential because of the acidity and the tannin. So those are two things in wine. Uh, quick tip, if you are thinking about, can I age this particular wine? So if a wine is full bodied, has great tannins and good acidity, those are two things that will help the wine age very, very well. Uh, most wines that are you know, considered table wines can be drunk right away. Uh, they sometimes don't have that quality of that extra tannin and the acidity that will help it 
uh, last long. So those are, you know, when you look at a wine, uh, obviously you want to know what it tastes like. You want to, you're going to know what you're, you're buying and drinking uh, and whether or not you can store it. Um, it really depends on, on those qualities. I mean, there's other things in there, but the primary two really, uh, the acidity and the tannins will keep it uh, steady and preserve it for years to come. So, uh, so quickly here, so on the, when we look at classic, on uh, Chianti, because as far as I can remember, 30, 40 years back, uh, Chianti's were always renowned for their, I don't know if everybody remembers that straw, hay, uh, round jug type wines that, you know, Italians or anybody used to drink, uh, you know, used to have always a bottle on the table, it was just a straw kind of uh, wine bottle and, and it was just classic table Chianti and back then obviously you know unfortunately it was, it was just a runabout Sangiovese grape made for table wine uh, over the years they've obviously refined this region they're producing some fantastic uh, wines out of Tuscany and out of Chianti uh, what to look for what to expect so you have uh, I want to say three classifications um, you know, the first is uh, a bottle that's listed Chianti. So you'll notice here, uh, I want to get that up close, Chianti Classico Reserva. Uh, I really want to say, if you find a bottle that just says Chianti, what it's going to be is from the Chianti region, likely Sangiovese grapes that are picked from multiple vineyards uh, and, you know, put into a bottle. So the quality is not that great. Personally, I would probably stay away from those. Uh, you will taste the difference. Uh, with those wines, you will say, well, I don't think I can age this one, and, and you'd be right on that. Uh, they're gonna be table wines, they're gonna be Sangiovese, quick drink, uh, and that's why I like just to stay away from them because you can get, I mean, this bottle here is $23 Canadian, and it's a Chianti Classico Reserva from a really great producer, so, uh, that's why I personally stay away from the, just the Chianti's. Um, uh, when you really want to look at it is, is two versions or really three other versions here. This one's a Chianti Classico. You'll find that in the store. Uh, the minimum aging is two years in oak uh, and then some more in the bottle. Uh, it is a more refined uh, wine, more refined, you know, uh, area, DOCG, it's, it's, there's particular wine practices, uh, that enable you to have a better quality wine. It's also better quality grapes produced in the Chianti Classico. Um, I personally like to go for the Chianti Classico Reserva. Again, $23 Canadian, uh, on this one here. Uh, because of the two years aging on the on the Reserva, two years in oak, I love the oak flavors. The tannin is not overwhelming. It's not gonna coat your mouth and, and really be astringent and, and unpleasant for those that don't like oak aging. It's gonna be pleasant, it's gonna be comfortable, it's, it's gonna be subtle. Uh, so up for the Reserva, two years in the oak, uh, in the barrels, and uh, I wanna say another year or so in the bottle before it's released to market. Uh, provides great, um, amazing quality. Uh, the uh, what you'll find if you really want and you're gonna pay the price for it between fifty and seventy dollars Canadian is the Chianti Classico Gran Selezione, uh, G R A N Selezione. So that is uh, the refined uh, Sangiovese Chianti. So it's basically always it's typically uh, about thirty. Uh, months in oak so it's aged longer than again aged in the bottle uh, it is typically Sangiovese grapes from a single vineyard so again you're narrowing down as you you know we talked about Chianti as grapes from many areas uh, Classico, Classico Reserva then Gran Selezione is a single vineyard from a producer that's selecting the best grapes so what, what does that mean obviously the best goes into the bottles um, and you're going to pay the price for it and it's aged longer and it has the potential for 10 15 20 years so uh, it, it's it all depends on what you're looking for uh, again personally Reserva is, is is amazing if you get a chance to taste in the Gran Selecciona you'll you'll notice the subtle the differences between the two uh, really in the flavors and the taste and the quality of the wine are going to be different so 
uh, it's really what to look for. Uh, and, and really the, the area itself, there's just so much to enjoy. And, and, and this particular bottle here, what I also love about it is that it, there's 10% Merlot. So Merlot is, is fruit forward, strawberry, red fruit, provides a nice sweeter, fruity aroma, which, which this wine is, is giving me here. Uh, so it's 90, 90, 10, uh, the Sangiovese Merlot, which is a nice, beautiful blend. Uh, again, the acidity, the aroma is just uh, amazing. Let this one sit out in a decanter at least an hour, an hour and a half, let it reach room temperature. Um, you're going to get the best out of this wine by letting it sit. Um, and that's about it. So hopefully you guys uh, have, you know, uh, learned a little something on the Chianti regions. If you guys, you know, have any uh, thoughts about uh, what you've tasted, any recommendations, please uh, drop a note at the bottom there. But hopefully give you guys a good choice for this weekend. Uh, if you can find this one, there are many producers. Um, Chianti Classico Reserva, again, uh, opt for something a little bit more refined, a little bit more aged. Uh, and I would personally uh, try a Chianti uh, compared to a Chianti Reserva just to show you guys the difference between uh, the two and the aging and what that does to wine. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, get it with a nice pasta dish, tomato sauce for this weekend. Uh, and that's it. Let me know if you like this uh, video, please follow. Uh, catch my other videos, uh, everything from French wine to, to white wine, red wine, I'm just going down uh, pretty much uh, all of the tips and tricks and things that I know to bring you guys you know, a better, uh, better knowledge on, on choosing your wine and, and understanding what, what's in the bottle. So that's it. Jules here from Behind the Cork to another good weekend. Uh, that's about it. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.